Alright, we're streaming now. Streaming is the thing we're doing right now. Welcome back everyone, this is Claude. I got a new mic still. I listened to the recording last time, it sounded like I was yelling into a box, so... That kinda sucks. Hopefully I can fix it at some point. But for now we're just gonna rock. We're gonna do this bonus stream. I'm gonna find my controller. I found it. And we're gonna go. Baby, a warrior takes his sword into a gem or some shit. I don't know who's talking because Twitch is bad. Is that you, Chrono? I have a feeling it's you. Could be Ridley. I don't know. So as you can see, I beat Yugo. In fact, here, I beat the fuck out of Yugo. I have a screenshot. That's how badly I beat Yugo. So for all you people who tell me my, my strat isn't consistent when I sit here and fail it a million times, there, there's the proof. But I gotta beat it on stream or it doesn't count. Those are the rules. Okay. So, um, I don't know if Chrono watched the archives. If he did, he has way too much time on his hands. But, uh, the key factor in winning this battle is... <laughs> okay, he did. Is buffing the shit out of Mustadio. He's level 30 now. I leveled him in Monk for more hit points, and I also taught him Equip Armor, uh, which is going to help quite a bit. In fact, it's probably going to double his hit points. And I also gave him HP Restore and move HP up for fun. So, he's a beast now. All he's going to do is steal evil people. That's all he needs to do. Um, Wolf is going to go with Time Magic, because we need haste, or else we're never going to get a turn. Ramza is going to go with Black Magic, because sometimes they group up and I can hit him with an AoE. So that's that. Uh, Ridley is going to be a priest with white magic, full life spam, things like that. I decided to go with equip armor instead of short charge, even though I grinded out short charge off screen. Because equip armor is just so good, man. You need that shit to survive. And of course, Chrono, the, the guy who's in the chat right now, is probably just going to walk around and use X potions. Every time I do a test run, he's like the most useless character in this fight. Because all the ghosts have blade grass, so we can't really attack any of them. Um, except the time mages, but those are the first people I seal evil anyways, so... He's just gonna hang out and chill, I guess. And Vegeta's just gonna watch. I had to drop someone from Estadio. Uh, I went with Vegeta. And also, I got everyone to level 35. That was because I needed uh, everyone to have their speed point. I was correct on that. Uh, speed points seem to be the same. You get speed points at level 18, 35, 52, and 69 in this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, everyone's 35 now. Not Mustadio, because I didn't give a shit. Yeah, Vegeta's gonna watch and cheer us on. And I think that's it. We don't need to save. We just need to go. Go! Another thing I'm going to try out is using move HP up instead of uh, move plus whatever on some of the units. Because that extra healing actually adds up, and I don't really move too much in this battle anyways. I think this is the formation I want. Yeah, but she has been moved to the B team. No, just for one battle, Vegeta. You'll be back to fight the various hill battles and things like that. This is the only time you'll be seeing Mustadio, um, except in Chapter 4 when we hit Poskus Lake. It's just like this battle, only it's at a lake instead of a forest. So we'll bring him out again. Right now we gotta worry about this shit. This is totally a filler battle too, by the way. Yes, yeah, still a Yu-Gi-Oh. We're gonna finish this shit up and then have some fun. Don't worry, I, I have a somewhat consistent strategy, which I'm sure will fail now that I'm on stream. That time mage wants Wolf dead. I don't blame him. So, these ghosts are all about making unholy champions. It's quite the buff, too. Yeah, thanks, Diplo. 
That Unholy Championship's a pretty good buff. I wonder what the success rate is on, uh, like, uh, non-undeads, if that makes a difference at all. I think Please Eat is still the best buff, but it has, like, a 50% chance to hit. I was messing around with the Rebos a bit, off-screen, like, using them in battles and shit. They're not bad, honestly. Alright, what's Rafa got for us? That's going to cancel her charge. Alright, she did absolutely nothing. Cool. Damn, these time mages make me choose. Actually, maybe I can mid-charge this bitch. First, we need haste. Yeah, um... The way this battle is set up, I can't uh, haste everyone. There's an uneven square where Chrono is standing. So I have Chrono like lone wolf it. And sometimes you can get a mid charge on this bitch. Isn't she a Virgo too? Yeah, this will kill her. Unless she has. Nope, she's dead. She's very dead. Yep. So that's nice. I think Chrono's kind of bone though. He doesn't really have a. Exit strategy. It's like George Bush! <laughs> We're gonna yell at Nostadio, even though, um... Why the second hit do less damage? Um, I'm actually using Ninja Swords, Vegeta. Because, you know, I know I always preach martial arts on ninjas, but, um, equip armor's too good. So we're actually using the fucking ninja swords. And we got a ninja edge from Yardo, I didn't point that out. And it's pretty, pretty strong, actually. But we only have one of them, so we gotta use the uh, the short edge for our second. I thought about just using Ninja Edge and bare hands, but I don't know how much damage that would have done. I was too lazy to math it out. Either way, she's dead. Um, we're actually gonna yell at Mustadio, even though we're we're uh, landing a haste right here. That's because haste and Mustadio is something we absolutely need to have for obvious reasons. Fifty-two, eighty-two. 82. Alright. Well, uh, we can go for the 52 and try and save Ramza. Or we could go for the sure thing and petrify a ghost. I'm gonna petrify this asshole. Go for the sure thing. That's always been my motto. And we're just gonna tank this, this uh, Dark Holy, I guess. Haste is only like a 52% chance on Mustadio because the compatibility. Yeah, see, it missed. Because the compatibilities are all messed up and his faith isn't too high to begin with. So that's why we're going with the yell. Shell should probably hit, though. It has a higher base chance to hit. There we go. So now we're buff. And I think Chrono is in a world of shit. Nope, it's gonna go for Rafa, I guess. Fine by me. I don't know, you sort of like abandoned your, your tanky roots, Chrono. You're more of a damage dealer now. Oh baby. Death feel when you gotta haste him a studio. So good. Yeah, you're gonna get Dark Holy and die. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get a turn. Oh, it's Mahan's Larjar. Whatever. You died for a good cause, though, and we have enough item to get you back on your feet, I think. Alright. So... I don't really never know what to do with Wolt's turns. Like, once he gets that a time magic off, he's kind of useless. Uh, let's see if we can... Uh, Spitch has Innocent. One thing that came up a lot of my test runs is... That Unholy Championship gives you Innocent. If you don't know what that does... Whoa. 
that means your faith is zero. Um, and this just means your effective faith is zero. No spells will work. That's probably why he gave the Time Mages and Wizards uh, Giga Flare, or Nano Flare, whatever. Because um, I don't think it's faith dependent. So I actually can't slow either of these targets. They are innocent until proven guilty. I could slow this wizard though, or I could try for the Hail Mary uh, Petrify. Fifty-two. Uh, he's got a mantle. Let's just go with the slow. Uh, I think we want Chrono back on his feet. Although we could drop an AoE, but no. Do I want a full life Chrono back? Yeah, I'll full life him back. I do want to be over here, though. Just in case. Oh, 9. 59. Alright, we'll wish him back. Can we dump a, a full life onto some asshole? Let's see. Elibos and Faye. Don't want to get mid charged. I guess we're kind of hurt. We'll just heal up. I can't rejuvenate now. Amstadio. Ah, oh, 82%. No. Sure, we can check out Ryovane's exterior. No problems. The reason you want auto potion plus equip armor in most of these battles um, is because it's the ghosts like to throw spirits and it's 100%. So if Chrono hadn't gotten nuked to hell before then, he could have survived a bit longer with Auto Potion. My boss! Um, it's pretty good. I think it's like two. Let's try that shit again. There we go. Much better. I'm just having Mastadia wait in place for that CT conservation. Alright, we'll wish him back again. That guy's slowed. I guess I could do... No, vertical tolerance is one. I could only slow one of them. I can't carve model both of them either. Well, let's see. Oh, that's a Virgo with 94 faith. I feel like slow would be a 100% chance to hit, but I can't see the calculation. We'll just assume it is. Alright, he's back. Uh, should I spread out to stop AoEs? No, I'll just wait in place. Uh, I don't want to get mid-charged. Mansell and Faye. You are Faye. Well, I don't think, I'm not too worried about getting mid-charged by, like, a staff. So let's do this and run back.
There we go. She's probably not going to use her staff to mid charge me. She's going to nano flare everyone, I guess. Giga flare. Well, that's okay. We're dropping a heal. What is the vertical on Giga Flare? It must be pretty bad. What was that? 397? Dark Holy? Uh, this tree, dude. This tree is a nuisance, but I think I can hit this guy. God damn it. Dude, this tree is like deceptively big. No, I can't hit anyone. Uh, I mean, it looks like you should be able to make that shot, but you can't. Can I use this shit? What's this do? Slow poison. Why not? Maybe we're using the new abilities. So now everyone's slow at least. That's kind of useful. Well now, not anymore. Yeah, because he's innocent now, Cyclone won't do that much. I guess Wolf is dead. Yeah. So we'll get Chrono back on his feet. Now I'm even speed with them. No, Chrono, once I got my speed point, it honestly wasn't that bad. I was just dumb and wasn't leveling my guys properly. Damn, he gets another turn? That's gonna be a Giga Flare again. 100%. Uh, maybe we can drop a fairy though. Man, they're still getting so many turns. It's discouraging. Mueller. Oh, it's the same guy again. Elabos. It's Elabos. Alright, maybe we can pull some shit. I can only revive one anyways. I basically just have to stay alive, make sure no one crystallizes, and the Mastadio is just going to take care of the rest. In case you haven't figured out the general plan of what we're doing here. Thirty-two. That must be worse compatibility. Forty-eight. Zero. Uh. Let's go for it. Damn it. I don't trust those shoot beyondums. They, uh, sometimes they miss even when you don't think they will. Oh, 
Oh wow, Wolf guarded it, nice. That's why you uh, go in with an Aegis shield. I've had shots that you would really think would hit, but then they don't. And it sucks. Oh yeah, another reason uh, the ghosts always hit is because they have transparent. Now, not many units in the original game had transparent because it was granted off of sunken state. I think I could punch this bitch. But uh, they have it in this battle. Capricorn, that's gonna be good compatibility. I don't think it will kill her. No. But it's better than Resin Wolf. And yeah, we do have to be worried about resurrections. Oh, let's go right here. Why am I gonna do no damage? I don't understand. Uh, light robe? Can anyone figure out why I'm gonna do zero here? So I lost. I know it's not height, I mean... The height is- oh! Because she's floating? That must be it. No, you can hit from a two difference, Chrono, but the float makes it three. That's why. Man, that's some shit. What was your question, Vegeta? If we're gonna do outside, uh, Raya veins? Yeah, we're gonna do that. Freaking float, man. No, I'm doing pretty good. Let's just, uh, get everyone back on their feet. I mean, everyone is, um, slowed, uh, Vegeta. So this isn't bad at all. Who has innocence? And she might. That's something we're gonna have to deal with when we get there. Anyway, it's still pretty good. Especially when you can, uh, trigger counter flood. No, I'm stopped! Fine. 32, 48. What is this guy's zodiac? Virgo? So that's neutral, huh? I think I want to. try and steal this bitch. God damn it. Ugh, this is such bad luck. I've missed like three seal evils and the bitch revived instead of crystallizing. And I'm stopped. Now I have no mana. Was that going to stop me from casting? Alright, it's over. Uh, God damn it. Sadly. Dude, Vegeta. 
I can't help it if I miss these 67% seal evils, and I can't help it if I have bad compatibility to all the, uh, all the undead. This strategy is all about Mustadio, and if he's not landing Steel Evils, then it's no good. Uh, there we go. Yeah, but this entire game is random luck, Vegeta. No, Oracle Magic sucks. It's better to just full life them. I'm not changing my strategy. Welcome, Clark. This time will go much better. These Giga Flares actually aren't that bad if you have equip armor instead of trying to dodge them. That ghost didn't do anything. He didn't even make an unholy champion out of anyone. They're also lining up a bit better now. And while this stage isn't normally small, it's just they all have six moves, so they can just uh, move across the screen and Giga Flare you. Let's see if Rafa can do anything. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. I think we'll have Chrono punch the shit out of that chick. Scorpio? Uh, are Dark Time Mages female or are they monsters? The answer might surprise you. I think they're female. Never known this game though. <laughs> I guess that's female. Uh, I guess we should heal up. Or do I want to yell at the stadia? I think I want to yell at Mustadio. Alright, see? Right off the bat, this is a better start. Uh... Well, half the wizards are dead. I feel like I should just cure to stop throw spirits. In fact, that is what I'm going to do. Yes. Alright, the haste missed. So it's a good idea to yell at him. The thing about FFT is, it, it really, like, snowballs if you don't get a good start. Because you have to keep reviving everyone, and then people start dying again. Okay, he's still alive. FFT doesn't really have uh, too many comeback mechanics. Unless you have Elixir, I guess. But well, we don't.
Ultras to every class. I agree. Got to got to bring this game into the uh, the 21st century. All right, so I'm not as scared of these unholy champions now because I uh, have a decent amount of speed. I do wish I could slow more units at once, though. elemental. Which of these is carb model? I think I have to be on this floor. This is all hell ivy, yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, let's haste chrono. Why not? These guys are innocent. So let's nuke this guy. Here, we'll have a shell party. That's what we'll do. I have to go with this guy. God damn it. I think Rafa should be getting a turn soon. I wonder what she's gonna do. I hope she uses a, a Phoenix down on that ghost, because then we can just, like, potion him to death. And yeah, they usually target guests because guests have the lowest hit points, and the enemy always wants to kill the unit with the lowest hit points. I can't click that link, so tell me what uh, what's going on in it. Alright, let's punch out some fools. HP restore Capricorn. I think this is the guy to kill. Will I trigger HP Restore if I attack him? Wait. Oh, this is really? This is... Wow, this does not look like a too high difference. That's for sure. Alright, whatever. Well, I'm surprised. I didn't even bother checking. It looked, uh... I looked like one at best. It's alright. X Potion, still good amount of damage. I think it's time to say sayonara to Rafa. I don't think Wolf has hit any of his auto potions, so he might be close to dying. He's okay. Those guys are both innocent. 
In fact, everyone's innocent. Yeah, everyone's hasted. So let's see. I don't think any of these are carb model. So we'll just, uh, let's do this. Wait. Okay, we can do that. Alright, let's see if we can get uh, lucky. No. Never on stream. Cheer up, Mustadio. Mm, can't get too much done. Cure won't do any damage. Uh, I guess we can cure this guy. Alright, that's what we'll do. Alright, Mustadio, please. I need you to, to seal anyone. 80%. There. You can do an 80%, Mustadio. There you go. You're the best. Um, it's okay in this battle because I don't really have to move too many places, Vegeta. I mean, it, it definitely adds up. But in no most normal battles, I'm just going to stick with move plus two because you can't beat the versatility. Alright, this is what I like to see. Everyone's just throwing spirits that are going to get healed by auto potion or not, but... Uh... I can't reach that guy. Can, oh, okay. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, especially if you do equip armor, Vegeta. Well, the enemies don't have too much burst damage. Uh... I don't think I have any holy weapons I can throw. And he is the holy water. No, Vegeta. This isn't Castlevania. You can't use the holy water to kill ghosts. Alright, I think it's time we got rid of this guy. I always forget who he has good compatibility to. Pisces and Aquarius. That's Leo, Libra. Well, Libra is going to be neutral, obviously. God damn it. Ugh. It's not like I'm complaining about missing these 50%. These are 66, man. Ugh. Oh, that's a critical. Monster attacks can critical for anyone who didn't know that. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, it's, uh, innocent. Move to trigger, move HP up. Alright, we lost the haste advantage, so they're gonna get a few more turns. Uh, his unholy champion wears off. Can I kill this guy? Not before he gets a turn. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> no, that's not gonna do enough. Man, this is... This is really good compatibility. Yeah, good. And yet it's not strong enough. Uh, will Axe Potion trigger HP Restore? Yeah, by the way, you can't use Holy Water. Will that even bring him into Critical? Okay, it won't. Or it will. What was I doing there? I must. I was looking at Chrono's HP. That's what I was doing. Alright, here we go again. This guy's just about get, to get a turn, it's a 66% chance. There we go. I think it's time we bust out some full life. What's the range? Four. He's innocent too? I thought I didn't see the thing. I guess I should pay more attention. Oh, it just wore off. I see. Yeah, hopefully she doesn't revive. It's a 50% chance. We are hasted now, though. So that's pretty cool. God damn. 
What was that, 87? I suppose it doesn't matter, though. Just one guy left. Well, who would be dead if I wasn't an idiot? Wow, 626 damage? I think that's a new record. Um... What weapon am I using? I'm using the Mithril Sword. Okay, yeah, use Defend. Uh, no, Dark Holy is unavailable. I wouldn't even be able to reflect it. Let's go for HP damage. No, that's dumb. Let's just wish him back. Let's just sit here and take it like a man. Petrifies who win. No such luck. Now Ramza didn't have shell. He we had like a shell buff party over here that included Wolf, Mustadio, and Chrono, I think. Or Ridley. One of the two. And he wasn't invited. So now we're gonna full life this asshole. No we're not. Uh, yes, we are. How much will Spirit Surge do? Okay. Full life it is. It's over unless the bitch revives. Let's see. Nope. Not gonna happen. And there you go. That's Hugo Woods. Done in 48 minutes. With one failed attempt. Because... Seal Evil didn't want to work. But whatever. Well, I assume Mega Potions will open up soon. And those look to be 150. It's looking to be like chapter 4, though. Because you would have X-Potions that heal um, 150 by this point in the normal game. But he nerfed potions, very likely because of auto-potion. Oh yeah, and the game gives you a, a power source just to mock you. There you go, Hugo Woods. There's someone who can use them? Alright. Well, that's cool. good to know. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think in the original game it gave you an elixir. I think, um, you can have one elixir until Ryobanes. And then you get one, like, after the rooftop? Something like that. Anyways, um... Are we still checking out outside Ryobanes, or do you guys want to head straight to Barius? By the way, I've been leveling up Violet in the meantime. She's pretty cool. It's kind of nice to be able to equip anything. Alright, real quick, we'll go check it out. Sounds good. We'll send the B team, the scouting team, so the real team can be prepared. We don't care about this shit. I'll go over this cutscene when we do the battle for real, or at least attempt it.
Yeah, Onion Knights have a lot of Inherents. They have, um, I checked it out. According to the tooltip, they have Inherent Two Swords, Inherent Two Hands, Inherent Maintenance, and Inher Inherent Equip Change, which I thought was pretty interesting. But I guess it makes sense. Um, I don't think they have Inherent Concentrate or Monster Skill, though, which would have been kind of handy. I guess all their Inherents just relate to equipment, because they're supposed to be all about equipment. I'm trying to think of what interesting equip options you can have for someone who can equip everything. There is actually precedence for this before Onion Knights came out, um, back in my day. People don't know this, but the undead... There are a few undead classes that weren't actually used in the game. Like, you, there you saw Undead Time Mage and Undead Wizard. And then post this, there's Undead Oracle and Undead... Uh... Archer. But there's also Undead Chemist. And a few others. And those units can equip everything in the game, just like the Onion Knight. And a few people did solo runs um, of those classes, and they talked about their adventures of being able to equip everything. And there were some unique combinations they came up with. Sadly, none I can recall off the top of my head. They have those inherent too? That's not what the tooltip said, but I believe you. Let's send Ramza an Ark, Boko, Violet, and Higgins. So in the original game, um, there were a bunch of archers and knights. Big surprise, I know. Hey look, there's a bunch of archers. And a ninja, of course. Knights are not allowed. I'm actually not too surprised he left the archers in. The archers are kind of a pain in the ass on this map because they can snipe you anywhere. Because they have the height advantage. Yeah, that ninja was a knight. There's a few more over on the side. In the original game, there was a knight with float hiding in that crevasse. I guess now it's a ninja with float. And of course, Ark dies instantly. Yeah, floating knight. Now it's a floating ninja. He's dead, Moloch. He's dead. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, it looks like it's all ninjas now. God damn, this game just throws ninjas at you, huh? This Garcia guy also knows untruth. That's pretty interesting. He's a Hell Knight. What an asshole. What about this guy? This guy's also a Hell Knight. What about him? Dude, everyone's a Hell Knight. Dude, I can't use... Um... Vegeta or Chrono for this battle. Vegeta and Chrono would take way too much damage. I would have to bust out, um, the B-team. And yeah, Tom Barry Knife. Moloch had this equipped, uh, at Yardo. I, did, I didn't point it out. Yeah, he has two right now. Alright, what about the archers? Are they, are they also Hell Knights? No, they're archers. Damn, this battle- oh shit, an Ultimus bow? Dude, this bow is no joke. And it gives plus one speed. Dude, they have so much speed. They're never gonna stop hitting me. I don't think there's any safe spot. Like, even if you're, like, right here, I think they can still hit you. Um, in challenge runs in the normal game, this, the, the place you wanted to be was right here. Because... Uh, it minimizes the damage you take and forces some of the archers to move closer. 
That's this battle's gonna be a pain in the ass, dude. But uh, we're not gonna fight it right now. We have other plans. Oh man, I might have to use um Violet instead of one of the uh physical units on my team instead of Chrono and Vegeta. Because if you have high faith, Untruth doesn't do shit. Although they might just use their normal attacks. Because yeah, Violet has pretty high faith. Not even Marsh has high faith. Ah no, I'll figure it out later. Yeah, shame I murdered Agrius. I don't think that opened up any new stores. No. No. Alright. So, first of all, before we head to Barrius Hill, I have some people to murder. Yeah, it's ticking around time. If you guys are interested in the story, please leave. There will be no more storyline battles unless you consider uh, Barrius Hill. Actually, doesn't Barrius Hill have some lore related to, like, ancient wizards? No, just about some, where some dude was executed. I feel like one of these had some flavor text about a, an ancient wizard. Oh yeah, this is the, the point that mentions moguls, in case anyone cared. Uh, no Zek loss. So first of all, I'm going to poach my Porky and my Wild Bow, and we're going to see what that gives us from the first shot. In the original game, poaching a Porky or a Wild Bow gave you, like, insane drops. The loot was pretty swag. But since the game, like, gives you an Arebo in this version, I'm not... My expectations aren't too terribly high. Yeah, Dio's got it. Ribbon Enchanted sounds right to me. For those who don't know what the Enchanted did, um, it gave you perma re rays And I don't mean just like, um, you have re rays and you die and then you don't have it anymore. I mean, you will always have re rays Forever. And the only way you can lose is if everyone on your team dies at once. What's wrong with poaching a Swiggy? Um, nothing. I was been doing. I've been doing it Mandalia lately. We could do it at Swiggy. All right, let's see. I think I'll leave Vegeta out for. No. Uh, I wish Alicia was higher level. Yeah, but Mandalia had some easier fights. What am I going to do? Uh, I guess I'll just use Chrono at Ryavans. Alright, let's beef up Violet. This gives plus 3 MA? Wow. I've been using her as a Lancer because she already has that unlocked. I guess we'll stick with that. Uh, secret hunt will be <laughs> yeah, interesting is a good way to put it.
Yeah, Chrono will be a samurai. So we're gonna have Violet, Chrono, and who'll be my third unit? Ah, uh, why not Mustadio? Well, samurai is supposed to come from like an ancient land, like a, a foreign land. Same with ninja. So they they don't really fit in with the rest of the classes, I guess. Plus, this game is Japanese. I want Carbani armor. Uh. All right, good enough. And we have secret hunt. Yes. All right, let's post some shit. Guess we're doing it, Swiggy. I hate to admit, but sometimes these random battles, when you go in with like, you know, two monsters and not your real units, they can kind of be challenging. Like, just a little bit. Oh boy! Boaching some shit! Fun times. What do we got? It's the Minotaur and the Mediators. Only two units? Okay, I think we can deal. Yeah, these pigs are not bad. Like, um, I was trying out the Porky in a random battle while I was leveling the Stadio. This poo shit? <laughs> this poo shit. This is 100%. It'll always add confusion and sleep. Regardless of Zodiac or Evasion or things like that. So that's pretty neat. Um, I don't know what the percentage is on Oink, but whatever. And um, by the way, Mustadio does have arm aim, but he doesn't have leg aim, for whatever reason. But it seems strange to me, if you're gonna leave one in, wouldn't you leave the weaker one in for a quote-unquote insane ROM hack? Because, I mean, arm aim is clearly the, the best one. Once we kill the mediator, Oh, I'll post my dudes. Um, we already did that, Mepis. Hugo's done. We beat it on stream. Do I have anything to cure Berserk? Okay. Don't have to worry about it. Let's try out this Chocobo gun. I know it's range 3 and only range 3. What did I use? Um, mostly Mustadio. Mustadio and more Mustadio. Why even have Mustadio? Because uh, he has Steel Evil. And that makes Hugo Woods and Posca Slag very easy. I'm just using him for fun right now. And because I don't want to level my main guys too much. I hope this doesn't kill him. This Tidalox has a chance to decapitate. Uh, I guess I'll just hang out. The Moss Fungus Bomb has 50% chance. Is that bad compatibility? Yeah, bad to Libra. Okay, so it has like a 70% base. That's not bad, actually. Maybe I will use Mustadio more, like an, an actual 
real battles. That's one. Yeah, me too, Dio. Sadly, he took that out. I remember my solo chemist runs. I always look forward to it. You go and post it's like, it's like, hey, I'm instant killing everyone. I get a free pass. There's no way I could possibly lose this battle even just using Ramza. Dino needs to work on his aim, though, for reals. Let's see if I can poach that Minotaur, too. By the way, now might be a good time to mention the discrepancies between two hands and two swords. Um, you know, as the name would suggest, two hands use a weapon in both hands, two swords use two swords. But as far as power goes, you get a 1.5 times bonus for using a sword in two hands. Like a 50% increase in damage. But if you use two swords, you get basically a 200% increase. I guess 100% increase using the math I was using before. So basically, you always want to use two swords. Um, no reason to ever really use two hands, that's why it's kind of bad. Um, no, that doesn't apply, Vegeta. You only get the 1.5 times bonus if you're using a spear and jumping. Any other weapon, you don't get that bonus, even if you're using it two-handed. We poached everything. Time to see our loot. <laughs> I didn't poach the mediator. I could never poach a mediator. They're too cool. Alright, we got a title act. He bag. Discount pee bag, I'll take that. Nothing too terribly interesting. I feel like one of the, one of the, the wild bow, the porky, gave me the um, the pee bag, and the other one gave me the title axe. I guess that's kind of interesting. So you can get a title axe as soon as chapter three starts, and I assume they were the common drops. All right, nothing that interesting, I guess. Um, I am happy with the pee bag though. I think I want to always regen. I wish this bitch knew some magic. I'm gonna have to send Violet on some propositions, I guess. Alright. But now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. We're gonna head to Barrius Hill. And hopefully not gain too many levels. <laughs> but, um, I saw that wizard on Vegeta's stream, and he looked pretty full of himself, so we gotta take him out. So, what do I want to do here? Um, that wizard can cast Golem, so I either need to use magic, or I need to use elemental or punch art. Anything that isn't absorbed by Golem. I guess I can leave this setup for Ramza. I didn't need my carabini mails back. 
You'd rather I fight the other one? Okay. Can you give me a hint about what to expect? I don't think you can just fall Gollum. You'll die? Alright, fine. Thank you for being as much help as always, Vegeta. There are a lot of enemies. Oh, so it's not just all with high DPS range and magic. So it's kind of like Yugo Woods. Alright, so we'll just use the same format for Yugo Woods and then we'll see what happens. How did I set this shit up before? I need the H bag. I need to equip armor. Should be for north entrance. Okay, thank you. That's good. That's good. Vegeta seriously doesn't know equip armor? How did he get to this point in the game without knowing it? Oh yes, good idea Vegeta. Alright. Ramza is my dedicated stealer. Yeah, well Lancer sucks, Vegeta. It's too slow. Oh, because I always gave you a quick axe, that's right. Alright. Uh, we'll change it back to Lancer, I guess. <laughs> exactly, Vegeta. It doesn't help that the game is just throwing ninjas at me anyways. It's like an arms race, Vegeta. I need ninjas to compete with the, uh, the enemy ninjas. By the end of the game, it's just gonna be all ninjas and summoners. Uh, item. That looks pretty good to me. We'll go with Latina because I want to cast buffs. I wish I could get you 11 speed somehow, but I can't. Unless I give you the mail. But that causes problems with my other units. Uh, actually, I want four CTR jumps. No, we stole this shit, Vegeta. This shit's too good to have in stores. Where are you? Please, someone. There we go. Four CTR jumps. Pretty good. Do I want Green Beret or Thief Hat? Ah, definitely the Thief Hat. Not abandoned. Yes. I don't need this shit though. I believe martial arts increases your chance to steal. Bring secret hunt? Oh, okay. Gotcha.
Alright, that's pretty good. We got Secret Hunt Steel, Time Magic, Equip Armor, Equip Armor, Summon, Item, Equip Armor, and a Lancer. Well, 100% Magic Evasion is nice, but I don't know what to expect. If it's all magic, I guess I should go with the Aegis. Alright, let's go. I'm ready for anything. If I encounter the wizard Vegeta, should I just try and kill him? Or should I really try for the other battle? Alright. Let's see what we got. I've heard many a story. Let's see what we got here. No, these are not arena battles. These are boss battles. Or something. I don't see any enemies. I do see one wizard, though. Defeat all enemy. And he's a Virgo, so at least we're, we'll uh, be doing a lot of damage. It's gonna open up with Living Fire. Yeah, it looks like names are randomized, Vegeta. I wonder how much experience he gained. I should have been watching that to see what his level was. What's the turn order? Alright. Well, he didn't use Golem yet, so we can get some free damage, I guess. Probably should have put move plus two back on Ridley, but too late now. Uh, could be. I'd have to check the levels again. Or do I want this haste to go off? Oh, right here is fine. An idiot! I should have moved him right here. Ugh, whatever. Whatever, it really doesn't deserve the buffs. Ah! This is such a bad start. It's okay, though. We got some haste. That'll help a bit. Oh yeah, so for anyone who wasn't watching Vegeta's stream for whatever reason, this wizard is a mystery to everyone. He's a warlock, not a wizard. He has question marks for everything. His name seems to be randomly generated, as is his uh, zodiac, I think. Like, I know Vegeta's was Aquarius. So... I don't know, man. He still has counter. 
And he looks to have a pretty badass shield. I'm not too scared of his counter, though. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Check out Vegeta's stream if you like uh, this game, but want to see it done easier. Can't steal. Can't steal a damn thing. <laughs> exactly. Dude, not ever everyone can be as popular as I am, Chrono. Cut him some slack. This wizard's not messing around too badly. Going straight for the kill. Not vulnerable to slow. And of course, not vulnerable to demi. Yeah, that rod is no joke. I wonder if I'll get a turn to jump. I guess if I can trap him. Well, that works too. I kind of don't want him to go anywhere. Kind of also want Corona to come, well, um, Ridley to come back to life. I guess we'll bring him back. I wonder when Wolf is ever gonna come back and watch my stream. Is he still on Guild Wars 2 or what? Like, what's he what's he all about these days? What could be so much more important than my stream? That's uh, Demi 2. Vacation. Uh, I kind of don't want to get countered. Dude, you follow Wolf on <laughs> exactly. Chrono said what we were all thinking. Hard to tell if I'll get a jump off before it lands, but Uh, whatever. Do you know how I feel about social networking? Tisk tisk. I guess I should start throwing shit at him because I don't want to get countered. Nice six. He weak to any of these elements. Wow, he's really weak to water, huh? That's interesting. Which of the shields gives you a vulnerability to water? Maybe it's the flame shield, but it looks fancier than that.
Uh, interesting. Apparently I shouldn't jump from range one. I don't remember jump being counter-graspable, but apparently it is. Now. Alright, there goes Gollum. Not too unexpected. That's alright. We have ways to deal damage without Gollum. Triggering Gollum, I should say. And yeah, you know, Golem is kind of tough when the boss has a million hit points, that's a good point. See, so throw won't work. Jump won't work. Um, yeah, I went in expecting the other battle. I kind of wish I still had black magic on Ramza at least, but it's okay. We can still win. We have elemental, we have white magic. No, no one punch art, just item. Auto potion's pretty good though, eh? I doubt this guy is vulnerable to any status effects, so I'm not worrying too much about where I stand. I don't think basic tr uh, skill triggers Golem, which is pretty funny, but... I should get regen on everyone. All right, 285 damage, holy. And I have ethers too, so I can uh, burn these. Does target work against Golem? It might. Shit. Okay, he can't stand. Okay, he can't hit me right here. There you go, between move HP up and regen, I don't want to move, that's for sure. Between move HP up and regen, it is pretty good healing. I don't think it's a bad idea, Vegeta, if you want to spec your, out your guys like that. Don't forget Regenerator in the Priest class. Although, you know, Auto Potion is probably going to be better anyways. Uh, okay, that's what I thought. Is this counter graspable? Elemental? It really shouldn't be. Okay.
kind of want Ramza to res Vegeta, and then Chrono use an Ether on Ridley. But these 80%, I know they're going to miss eventually. There we go. I don't want to get mid-charged, but he can't mid-charge me anyways, so... I kind of want to trap him so he can't, like, keep running away. Alright, well, whatever he's charging, we're gonna shell it. So it shouldn't do too much. Oh, shit. This is not very good. I'm not gonna jump. I can just move out of the way. I'm not gonna fucking He has Golem, dude. You people are idiots. I'm not gonna fucking jump. I'm gonna move right here. You people, seriously. Alright, that wasn't too bad, I guess. Yeah, we can just do this. And yeah, Ramza can heal. I'm not dodging spells with jump. He has Golem. That would be the worst idea ever. I can heal Confusion, right? Oh no, that's right. I always use Throw Stone. Ugh. I'll just fucking target him. I critical for 34 damage. Anywhere I move, he'll get a mid-charge off. So he'll heal. I guess Rejuvenate will do the same thing. Whatever. Conserve MP. What's he got for us this time in his bag of tricks? Um, more Demi too. We'll cure most of that back up. We'll kill him. 80 damage at a time. Exactly, Chrono. You get it. You understand where I'm going with this. It is hard to, like, land shit on him, because he is kind of fast. Oh, I've already started this, Vegeta.
Might as well keep going. I really didn't think this through because I'm going to get mid charged. I'm an idiot. Well, I assume he's going to have more life because it's proportional, right? Depending on his level. There we go, I'm safe. Well, you can just go around, can you, to the other side? Yes, yes you can. I was almost safe. Gold never wears off. We'll see. If I this lasts until if this lasts for 13 more minutes, and I'm not making that much progress. Um, we'll see what I feel like doing then. I think I'm safe here from physical attacks. You'll have to use magic. Ah, uh, he's gonna win. Don't think I have a chance to dodge that either. Dude, no spoilers, Vegeta. I could beat this if I was more, like, you know, set for it, but I'm trying to win with my ghetto setup. Where is this resolving? Alright. It seems like every boss is weak to ruins. That seems like kind of an oversight. I don't think that'll save him, but whatever. Is that Subra? Is he doing content, or is he doing the actual thing? Oh, who cares about content? Who would watch that stream, dude? Boring. But yeah, if I were to do this battle again, I'd make everyone Geomancers. I am kind of concerned about getting too many levels, though. Since this isn't a real storyline battle. Yeah, we'll see. If he doesn't give me anything worthwhile, I'll just reset after beating him. 
Yep, no good at all. We're basically just wasting time, but too late to reset now. I am dealing like 80 damage around though. I guess that's something. And yeah, you never know how well you're doing. He's probably just going to chain lightning again. Oh, he's going to go for this. How many elementals will it take to kill him? And yeah, all Geos would do pretty well. But I don't have all Geos. I would just do um, Geomancers with Abandon and Aegis Shields. It'd be super easy. I don't know. We'll give it seven more minutes, and then I think we'll try the other battle. That guy's going places. Well, I already knew what to expect because I saw it on Vegeta's stream, but still. I kind of wanted to fight the other battle he alluded to. It's just I had such a great start at the beginning because he wasn't casting Golem, so I got a good chunk of his life off right at the beginning. I guess in retrospect I should have put myself in range of that heal, huh? Well, I just expected Radley to die anyways. <laughs> badge. Um, we never found out because he didn't kill him. He did at least 1,500. I'm about double his level, so he'd probably have about 3,000 hit points. At least that feels about right. Uh, let's actually try Chrono's idea. Alright, target does go through Golem. Hooray.
104 damage. Not quite. The only reason I did it there is because I knew he wouldn't counter. Because, um, of the height differential, his counter wouldn't reach me. Man, if I can trap him right here, dude, this would be so sick. Oh, baby. Alright, if I. Oh, wait, he just moved back. God damn it. Whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was almost excited. Uh, I think he has, like, insane jump, too, so maybe it doesn't matter. Well, I think I've dealt, like, what, a thousand? I mean, we had those jumps at the beginning. Chrono beat him up a bit. I don't know. Let's have a vote. Should I reset right now and go fight the other battle and then come back and min-max this? Or should I just tough it out with fucking 80 damage elementals for the next million years of my life? Alright. Looks like people want me to reset. <laughs> Magic rings? Nah. Sprint shoes are where it's at, man. Sprint shoes is one of the best accessories in this game. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna keep that same setup, and we're gonna go to Barry's Hill. We're gonna fight that other battle Vegeta wanted me to fight. And we'll see how we do. Um... I kinda want an Aegis Shield on everyone. But white magic is fine too. Alright, we might be here a while while we try and find the battle Vegeta's thinking of. If for any reason there's like multiple, you gotta tell me when I find it. Uh, sure. Why not? That looks good. I did, but I forgot. I'll remember if I reset right now. I reset right now. Um, the chances to get any given battle at a green dot is randomized, they're not weighted one way or the other. So I guess that was bad luck. Uh, that's what Vegeta said. We got this time. Oh shit, we got dragons! And a summoner! Is this the battle you were thinking of, Vegeta? 
Dude, there are so many dragons. Um, how the fuck do you double equip rods? Baja move. Uh, oh, he's a dragoner. That makes sense. Uh, dragons are no joke, Vegeta. I mean, they're slow, but that's about their only downside. Uh... I know it's before they all have Dragon Spirit, by the way. I don't think I'm feeling as confident in this one. Alright, what's the range on... Thunder Breath. Two, four, four directions, that makes sense. Alright, let's have a buff party over here. Alright. Yeah, but... I don't think you guys realize how strong dragons are. Looks like someone's gonna miss out on the buffs. That's okay. I don't remember y dragons shooting laser beams, though. Something about my recollection of FFT isn't allowing me to remember that. No, no, they definitely didn't shoot laser beams. Uh, no, 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 definitely didn't. <laughs> I guess that's his monster skill. He stood right next to the dude to do it. Oh my god. I believe the red dragon is the strongest. Yeah. Mustadio for this one. Why would I? Why would I bring Mustadio? Well, might as well kill this asshole first. The thing is, I didn't bring AoEs, I... Was not prepared for dragons. AoEs would certainly be more helpful here, though. But we'll see.
I don't even think you could two swords rods in the original game. Ruining my immersion! I need regen to cancel out the poison, or else he's gonna die. Uh, I know about HP Restore. I'm gonna fix it right now. There we go, he is dead. But, um, his friends I'm more concerned about. And they're shooting laser beams! I can only assume he's immune to steel. That was with Shell, by the way. I don't want to get mid-charged. I guess I'll go over here. Yeah, he has stars. I assume he's immune to steel. Just like every cool unit in this game. Let's see, they have Dragon Spirit. I'm not too sexually attracted to any of these dragons, unfortunately. Good try for the old beatdown. Ah, normal attack is fine. I like how his sprite glitches out when he uses Dragon Spirit. I better kill him. <laughs> uh, Mithril Sword, I'd do more damage with Elemental. Not enough, though. Oh, we'll heal him up a bit, it's fine. I think we'll get another turn anyways. Oh wait, Vegeta can... ...not do anything. You can ask, ask him a question, I guess. Alright, we'll go with that. Uh, critical hit 60. Okay, I think Colonel will get another turn, he can just punch him out again. There's Marls. He is gonna fire breath. Probably Vegeta.
Yeah, you missed your heal too. Well, I was really hoping it'd kill. Guess not. So they absorb lightning. Not ice, though. Not fire. I just feel like nothing I do deals enough damage. Uh, I gotta do something though. Uh, I guess that's good enough. Yeah, not having to worry about counters is kind of cool, I guess, but this Dragon Spirit is going to be a real pain in the ass eventually. I can't believe I haven't killed that guy yet. Actually, maybe I shouldn't kill them. If I just leave them in critical, they can't heal, and the enemy's gonna want to run away. So that way I'll never have to worry about re-raise. That's something to consider. Oh, but he's dead anyways. <laughs> but still, the idea was good. Oh, and if I poach them, they can't resurrect. That's why Vegeta wanted me to bring Secret Hunt, I see. Alright, well, they're lining up. Not too many places to go, though. I think I'll have uh, Ridley Res Vegeta. I wish I could do enough damage to poach this guy. Oh, what if I do this? I can't reach. God damn it. Alright, he's back. I think he'll just uh, run away once he's done doing this. So I think he's out of the fight. Not strong enough to kill this guy. I could accumulate, yeah, but that would waste time. Prince is not hasted, right? No. Let's see if we can stop this guy. I kind of want him getting into the fight. 
Nice. Okay. That went well. No, it's better to just hit him. I'll kill him eventually. The only weakness behind dragons is that they're slow. I guess we'll just finish them off. Well, no, Rams can just kill him afterwards. I'll start working on this guy. Dragons are my favorite monster, by the by. I, I guess most people could assume that, considering who I play in Poxnox. Oh, they have heals. I see. So they do have forms of healing. They use um, their breaths, and they absorb certain elements. I see. Makes sense. Just, let's just say I'm really thankful I have Protect and Shell right now. Tiamats are much better than dragons, but they're not as cool. Yeah. I mean, they're not as cool, though. They're kind of overpowered, too. Like, um, even in the normal game, it was worth using um, Tiamats over humans. The only monster you can make an argument for as being better. Who's Bacchus? Blue Dragon. Potion, huh? Kind of running low on magic, but Yeah, teammates are no joke. Teammates will absolutely eat your face. Oh no, the buffs are wearing off. I was afraid of this day. We gotta start killing people fast. And killing them for real. Alright, let's see if Ramza can poach that blue dragon as soon as Vegeta's jump lands. I think the CT will work out in my favor. Which do I value more, shell or protect? I think I value shell more. Assuming I can reach him. Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. One down. He ain't coming back. Do 
Dude, a well a well controlled Team Mac could take out Orlando. Team Mac's have 999 hit points, dude. Aspis. Uh I guess I'll kill one of them so they want to heal instead. Yeah, I have ethers. Never mind. That did less damage. I don't think Tail Swing had a random component to it. That was strange. <laughs> well, I guess we know which dragon we're gonna kill next. Really, man? Only one haste? That really sucks. Yeah, Tail Swing is doing less than it says it will. I don't think it was like that. By the way, I think he's gone for a little bit. Um... We're gonna have a heal party over here, I think. It's tough, but yes, I can. So let me fuck things up for the red dragon. I think I should wait, and then I'll get another turn. We'll see. Oh uh, yeah, I loved uh, MP switch, move MP up. He took it out of this game, though. Uh, Vegeta found out. He put MP switch is still in the game, and move MP up is still in the game, but you can't get both of them because one's on Dancer and one's on Bard. Very sneaky thing to do. Yeah. Dude, if that was still in the game, I would be using it right now. Oh, it's gonna be close. That's because Capus was hasted, that's why. That's right. Well, let's try for confusion. Alright, we're down to like three dragons now. We can actually fight. That's not bad. Yeah, if he had if I hadn't killed him, he would have got another turn. <laughs> I know, Dio. I believe you. He's right at a hundred CT too. I'm gonna try and poach every single dragon just to stop the re raise bullshit. Um, let's work on this guy. And we got Don't Move. Although I don't think he was going anywhere, anyways. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get a ton of swag from this battle. We're keeping this. We're not gonna reset even though we gained a few levels.
Did that seriously do 42 damage? Wow. What did he do to my dragons, dude? Yeah, I buffed every monster except my favorite one. I'm out of MP. I can't... I can't do anything. I'll get an ether range. Alright. Red Dragon's done. This healing isn't really that potent. I mean, he's only healing 143. I deal that much damage with, like, with fucking Wolf. And I don't know what's going on with his class. Welcome to anyone just joining us. We are fighting a shit ton of dragons at Barius Hill because my good friend Vegeta00 pointed out to me that uh, you can indeed fight a shit ton of dragons here. So that's what we're doing. Just about over, but don't go away. Once we finish this battle, we're gonna see what we got from the uh, the first shot, because we are poaching every single one of these, so it should be pretty cool. Uh, I really think... Yeah, he has maintenance, of course. Dude, that Dragon Rod would be so cool. In the original game, the Dragon Rod, like, barely did anything. In this game, it has a chance of casting Bahamut. Bahamut. Have you stumbled over dragons in any other random fight? Yes. There was a guest battle at Aragway Woods. Uh, an arena battle at Aragway Woods. That featured some red dragons. I mentioned it to Vegeta. That, um... I wanted to go, like, try and invite a dragon. And I guess he knew what this battle was, so he didn't, like, mention it to me. Thought I'd be fighting dragons here. At least the dragons are slow. That was pro probably what won me this battle. In FFT, it's really all about speed. Especially because I had a haste setup going. Um, they weren't really able to do too much. And also got all my buffs off as well, which helped quite a bit. Yeah, I know Vegeta. I'm pretty excited for that. These random battles are kind of fun, because they're not 
as you would put it, ball-breakingly difficult as some of the storyline battles. And they usually have fun gimmicks. Barely can't reach him. I'll just wait. I don't want to gain too much experience if I can help it. Is Breath 100%? I don't think so. You don't have any evasion, Vegeta, because you're using an axe. I've noticed everything in this game is like either 100% or like 10% chance to hit, though. So it wouldn't surprise me if you made Breath's auto hit. I don't know. It's like all my knowledge I had of this game, like, doesn't help me anymore. It's kind of sad. Anyways, we poached every single dragon. Yeah, all answers should be pretty strong. Uh, just watch out for Blade Grasp, and you should be good. And assuming you're good with the jump math, which I assume you are at this point. I'm sure you've watched me enough times. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, Wardulus is the closest. I am gonna save in a different uh, spot though, because as fun as that battle was, if that battle ended up giving me like nothing, I kind of gained a lot of levels for like for no reason. So yeah, we're gonna t keep an alternate save. Alright, what do we get? This is what it was all leading up to. Alright, no weapons. No helmets. Uh, platina armor, which we already have. And a chameleon robe, which we could already buy. Looks like that's what the green dragons dropped. They all dropped a chameleon robe. And the heroic gloves. I think I'm going to reset Vegeta and load from my other save. This wasn't at all worth it. But you know what? We had fun. Uh, we had fun killing dragons. Yeah, now it's time to beat up the Warlock. So that was um, the one summoner, one dragoner, I guess. What was it? Like five dragon battle? Six dragon? Done live on stream for the internet. I hope you enjoyed it. But we're not going to keep that save. Try entering from the south? Uh, okay, sure. Wait, which save did I load? No, I don't want this one. My bad. I gotta pay attention. Um, do you know what would happen if I came in from the south, Vegeta, or are you just, like, speculating that I should go there? Your gut is telling me? Yeah, but sometimes your gut means an FAQ. I mean, sometimes it means your actual gut, but... Most of the times it means an FAQ that you've been reading.
we'll go with the same setup. I mean, it worked for us for the dragons, right? And I had no idea what to expect there. <laughs> it's really your gut. Okay, sure. Whatever you say, Vegeta. Barius Hill. What do we got? By the way, thanks to shoutouts to Chrono for staying up till 2:30 in the morning to watch me stream. Oh, it's the fucking Onion Knights again, dude. No one wants to see this bullshit. But yeah, thanks for staying up. I know you're on that real people time now. <laughs> I guess the Murasame would be kind of cool. Okay, it's Onion Knights. We already have an Onion Knight in our party. Her name is Violet. And she's gonna be going places at Outside Lionel. We're not fighting this. We're gonna go fight the Warlock and then we're gonna cut the stream. And we're gonna beat his ass. Um. Just for the sake of time, I don't know, I've, I've yet to see a male Onion Knight, but I feel like it should be both genders. But yeah, just for the sake of time, we're going to spec out to kill the Warlock, and we're going to kill him, and that'll be the stream. So let's do it! Okay. So, I'm obviously not going to need steel. Uh, do I want to go with black magic or elemental? Elemental is better overall. Not gonna need secret hunt. Magic attack up will increase elemental damage. It is classified as magic. Wolf was doing pretty good already. Uh, I don't think I need to change him. Kita is gonna be Geomancer. <laughs> I like that theory, Chrono. Looks like we're pretty good to go. I don't think any of these terrains will come up. Definitely don't need to equip Axe as a Geomancer, though. None of these are that great. Uh, equip armor, right, of course. I'm gonna be using Mithril Swords because they boost MA. I believe I covered that at some point. Ridley is fine, I think. And Chrono's also going to be a G-Mancer. Which, which he mastered, by the way, off-screen. He knows everything there is to know about Geomancy. can't buy Aegis shields here. Whatever. We'll deal with it. No, I won't. We'll just go to Lionel Castle real fast. It'll save time in the long run. Oh, we can buy Assassin Daggers now. Assassin Dagger, very useful in the solo chemist run. Basically, the only way you can kill the Chocobos at Fanoth River is through uh, Death Sentence on the Assassin Dagger.
Oh, we can buy high ethers now, too. Is that a reference, Chrono? Because if so, I don't get it. I'm too old! You young kids. And your references. Tina armor. We'll just say it worked, Chrono. Okay, Geomancer, Priest, Geomancer, Geomancer, and Elemental Secondary. Good amounts of speed, good amounts of move. Secondaries are items, summon, item, uh, time, and elemental. Okay. Oh, do I want abandoned versus weapon guard? Or abandoned versus auto potion? And chrono. I think I want abandoned. Abandoned on the males. Any more mithril swords? It's not chance, it's gonna be 100% magic evasion. Aegis Shield gives 50% magic evasion, Abandon doubles it. So either it'll, it'll evade or it won't evade. I'm kinda sad that Vegeta and Chrono have turned into like carbon copies of each other now. But, what can you do? That's just what this game is forced onto me, I guess. Alright, looks good to me. I'm ready. Not just melee classes, but, um... Wolf and, uh... Ridley are pretty similar, too. Yeah, please, Vegeta, please try to keep the dream alive. You know me, I will sit there and watch you reset over and over again. I've watched uh, the Super Mario 64 speedrun guy do it, and I'll definitely watch it for tactics. Oh, baby, it's like we're doing a Geomancer SS SCC. By the way, I do recommend SCCs if you ever want to play the original game and breathe some new life into it. Those challenge runs are pretty fun. All you do is you just make everyone the same class and try to win uh, just using abilities in their class. It's more interesting than you think because you kind of have to think outside the box in a lot of ways. Yeah, all Squires is pretty fun. Especially since Ramza kind of cheats since he's an Uber Squire. Yeah, I definitely recommend it, Vegeta. Especially if it's a class you never use too often. Some good ones are Geomancer. Um, Samurai is a really fun one. Um, Dancer, Bard can be kind of interesting. Although I guess you kind of have to do one Bard, four Dancers for Ramza, unless you want to use a Game Shark. But yeah, recommended. Let's line up for buffs. This kind of reminds me of the competitive days. Everyone's like, okay, let's not attack each other for like uh, four rounds and let's just all get our buffs on each other and then we'll engage. Um, you get your class before Door to Trade City. You, the challenge starts at Door to Trade City. You can do whatever you want in Sweet Game Mandalia and you can't get higher than level 20. But other than that, you can just go nuts. And, and you can't adjust your bravery or your faith.
What are some other good solo class runs? Don't do chemist. Chemist is really easy. Oh, mediator, of course. Even, you know, having five meteors isn't as good as having one mediator, but it's still a lot of fun. <laughs> do you have to actually grind that shit, Claude? Um, not really. Um, some classes are easier than others. For some, like some for example, um, a summoner, uh, SCC, dude, you can just fucking steamroll everything. You don't have to do a single, uh, random battle. And yeah, using a game shark to skip the, the grinding is perfectly acceptable. That's not, a uh, part of the challenge. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, exactly. Unlocking the classes isn't part of the challenge, obviously. Alright, so, this is a good start. We're gonna get a holy right off the bat. Uh, his name is Lars now. Wait, what is... what is he doing? Oh, shit. Maybe this isn't such a good start. I'm fine with anything except Confused too. That's probably why I used it, because I fucking buffed myself to Kingdom Come. So now he's gonna... Oh. Right. Aegis Shield. Okay. I forgot I was, like, immune to magic now. Um... The nice thing about the fact that I'm just using Mithril Swords to boost my MA for Elemental is that I can cure confusion pretty easily just by uh, hitting people. Not gonna do that much damage at all. So that's nice. I should spread out though. No reason to stay clumped up now. And uh, let the elemental spam begin. Goddamn, 98 damage elementals on Ramza? That's so sick. Ramza's stats are so good in Squire. Yeah, we're finally gonna take this asshole down, see what he gives us. I hope he has like a really cool rare drop, that'd be kinda nice. I don't have enough for another holy. Ah, uh, we'll just chill. I don't wanna get mid-charged. Yeah, someone in the chat, keep track of the damage. Really? More confusion? Well, that's only going to hit, uh, Ridley if it hits anyone at all. Wait, didn't I give it- Oh, I didn't give him a Bandit, that's right. Wolf has an Aegis Shield, but he doesn't have a Bandit. Okay. Okay, we really gotta spread out. That's not optional anymore. What's with the question mark wizard? This is like a pseudo-hidden boss fight, I guess you could say it is. His name is Lars, he's a warlock. He always spawns if you come from the north entrance of Barius Hill, and he's a beast. Um, I haven't been able to kill him yet, although I haven't really, like, gone all out. Uh, Vegeta, who's here in the chat, alerted me to his presence. Uh, and he wasn't able to take him out, although, granted, he wasn't too spec for it either. So we're really gonna try and do our best here. How much MP will that waste? Fairy? Man, I need that MP. I can do this. Exactly. Basically, exactly what Vegeta just said. So now we're spamming elemental. Uh, the reason we're doing this, you might think, oh, it's a wizard. Uh, I should use physical attacks. Right at the start of the game, uh, the battle. He uses Gollum. 
and Golem absorbs any attack um, from the attack directive, the charge directive, the throw directive, or the jump directive. <laughs> exactly. Dude, if Math Geek were playing this game, he'd already be done with it. He wouldn't still be stuck in Chapter 3 doing this bullshit. I said I was going to spread out. But... I say a lot of things, I guess. Yeah, he was like a legit math geek. He was like a math professor at some major university. And he had a wife and kids and everything. What a sick guy. And he was the best FFT player ever. Well, one of the best. I don't think we ever really had an established best player. He did always kick my ass though, but... I don't know, I think I would... He was like my demon. I could beat most people, but I could never beat him. Uh, I guess, should I try and heal Rams at all? I guess I can't do too much else when I have 7 MP. How'd you guys do versus battles? We did it text-based on a game FAQ's message board. Um, we like, drew out the map using text symbols, we, ke we kept track of everything using text, etc. It was pretty, pretty hardcore. Um, let me link that actually right now. One second. So you guys can take a look. Oh. There you go. Um... Sadly, the archives didn't catch all of my glorious matches because they were implemented somewhat... The archive system was implemented after I had, like, retired from the game. But you can, uh, catch some of the final tourneys from before the board died. And yeah, Vegeta, I was hardcore into that shit. Just like I was hardcore into the solo challenge runs. Just like I'm hardcore into this thing. This ROM hack. This... Shitty... Poorly designed ROM hack. Well, okay, that's not true. I guess, while we're just sitting here spamming elemental, maybe I should give my thoughts on this ROM hack so far, now that we've almost done with Chapter 3. Um, uh, I still have mixed feelings about it. Protect? Wait, what, is this, is this M barrier? I don't think he's actually charging Protect. It is M barrier. Wow. Does that mean he's like about to get serious here? I don't think we saw him use him here at any point before. I think shit's just about to get real. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, this hack. This hack does a lot of things I like, and a lot of things I hate. I like some of the changes to the classes. Um, I thought Sage is really well done. I thought Archer is very well done. I don't like Wizard. I think it's silly what he did with the class. Um, what other ones did he change? I don't know how I feel about Priest. Giving them more offensive capabilities it seems like kind of intruding on Wizard a bit. But the main thing I don't like about this game is, everything takes forever. Everything. Storyline battles take forever. Grinding out the JP needed to survive in storyline battles takes forever. This dude right here is going to take forever, because all I can use is elementals since he casts Golem right away. Oh baby, I lucked out. What would you have done with the mages? I wouldn't have changed anything. <laughs> that's what I would have done. I would have changed Calculator and that's it. Nothing wrong with Black Mage as I, as it was. At least I don't think so. Dude, how can anyone improve on the original Final Fantasy Tactics? It was the best game ever made. 
to try and suggest changes to it is sacrilege. Also, Rams is dead. Oh yeah, I'd change Summoner too. Summoner is uh, way too good. I'm out of magic. I never cured my thing. Alright, check it out. We have advanced strats. I don't think most people here knows, know about this, but you can charge spell without having the mana for it. And then, uh, get the mana and it'll work. So, some advanced strats right here. I did not know that yet. I had a feeling you didn't, Vegeta. I'm busting out the hidden tech to fight to beat out Lars here. Gotta go all out. <laughs> I say secret tech like this game hasn't been out for 14 years. Any other thoughts on 1.3? Um. I like that he changed the poaches around. I mean, overall they seem better. And he took out all the broken items, which I guess is pretty cool, since most of them kind of like eliminated the challenge from the game. I like that it's harder. I really do. But it's hard in such a way that everything takes a million years. And I really wish that wasn't the case. Like, I wish this guy was like faster and doing more damage, but he had less hit points. How much damage did Holy do this douche? Um, somewhere around 250, I want to say. Yeah, that's another good point, Clark. A lot of the challenge does come from the grinding, which is, you know, an easy way out in order to inflate challenge. I wanted to highlight that uh, rant I did about hard games, about how tedium isn't, you know, real difficulty. But I didn't. By the way, Vegeta, you still gonna play Dark Souls? I know that like a Dark Souls stream has been done like a million times at this point, but I kind of want to see you go through it, just because I know nothing about the game, and I kind of want to see what it looks like. All right, that's cool then. Yeah, how's that damage counter coming along? Well, we're dealing, I want to say, about 120 damage around, on average. Uh, I think we're getting about three elementals off. Ridley's kind of stuck in this loop where he just heals Ram Roms over and over again, but, you know, it's whatever. At least it's not cast to confuse. I, can't, I need to have Rom Roms face the other way, though, so his back is against the wall, so... At least the Aegis Shield can always uh, have a chance to dodge. Oh, Mepis is in charge? That's pretty cool. Someone remind me to name a monster after Mepis. He's been here like every day for my streams, and he's a cool guy. I have to move. Don't like my shitty 10 year old website, Vegeta. I haven't updated that since my computer died. I need to finish the write ups on the Street Fighter 4 characters, though. I believe I left off a guy. But yes, I do have a website. There's not much on it. I write articles about game design and Street Fighter. Maybe I'll start writing about this game. Who knows? But I'm not very good. I just do it for fun. I almost majored in English in college until everyone was like, wait, don't major in English. It's the worst thing you could possibly major in. And I was like, oh, okay. So I majored in uh, criminal justice instead, and that's been going pretty good. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a student right now. I'm going for my master's in criminology. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, professional internet hero. The dream is to one day be a professional internet hero, really. Alright, I have enough for one more life. And then I have to use another high ether. Theo, if I was studying to become Batman, would I tell you I was studying to become Batman? I mean, really. Is the whole point to have, a, like, a secret identity? I'm so glad high ethers are in stores now. I think they, like, just become av available to buy. Like, it was the same checkpoint as the assassin daggers, because I didn't see them before. Oh, baby, I actually get a turn? I keep leaving my mouse on the on the chat. It's kind of uh, unprofessional. Yeah, I'm just kidding around. By the way, do you? I'm like never serious about anything. And this game always puts me in a good mood, even when it's uh, uh, as questionably designed as this one. Oh, we got more M barrier. I see. Oh yeah, I definitely got to punch Wolf in the face at some point. Dude, I live like two hours away from him now. I gotta make it happen somehow. Dude, how many times have I elemental this guy? I've like, I spaced out for like the last 20 minutes. Ah, uh, can I, can I holy? Oh no, because M barrier gave him haste. Pet Evo 2013. Well, he's probably gonna go down here and punch Rod Ramza. So who am I to stop it? Who am I to play God? There we go. 24 times? Wow. Thank you, Memphis, for actually keeping track. You're a true hero. Well, at least we get to see the local Quake animation now instead of the Hell Ivy animation. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um... I'm not sure if I can revive Ramza before he gets another turn. And I'm kind of worried about him breaking out of this loop I got him in. Uh, we'll play it safe, I guess. Cut into our DPS. So he goes for a, a rod hit. Alright, he won't get a second turn. He might mid-charge Ridley, but whatever. Yeah, that's what, looks like that's what you're gonna do. As long as there's only one person down at a time, and as long as no one's confused, um, I think we'll win eventually. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Wob is here. Wob, you showed up at the absolute best time. Look what we're doing. We're gonna kill this asshole over and over and over again. Elemental him over and over again. I've like stopped paying attention to what words come out of my mouth at this point. But eventually we're gonna kill him, hopefully. And we're gonna see what he gives us, if anything. Alright, Ridley or Ramza, who's he gonna kill? It looks like Ridley. Blizzard, of course, won't hit Chrono at all. He has an Aegis Shield and Abandon. Completely immune to magic. 
available magic. I guess you could bust out Cyclone or something. I kind of want to spread out just a little bit more, though. But what can you do? I think if he hastes himself again, uses M Barrier, I'll try and haste myself as well. Oh shit. Wait, is Bahamut available? I have no idea. I'm about to find out. Hold on to your asses for what I think is the best summon animation in the game. Look at that, he just fucking blows up the field. Apparently it's available. Damn, Bahamut was my favorite summon too. This guy hates dragons, dude. He nerfed every dragon. Oh, Ridley will get a turn. That's pretty cool. I mostly just need him to spread out. Go for the Hail Mary. Probably gonna kill Rams anyways, but you know. Not much else I could do. Kill Ridley anyways. Oh wow, it's gonna land. Oh, we're gonna land this one, and Shell just wore off too, so that's pretty cool. Although people are kinda, like, dying at a surprisingly fast rate. Which is, um, a little worrisome, but... I think I got it. This holy landing will help too. Eighty percent. All right. Can't spread too far out, but I just want to be out of range of AoEs. I think right here is pretty good. Alright, well, here's the, uh, the little, um, chip in the pot to add towards the mass amount of damage I need to deal. Oh shit, he's actually in critical. This battle might have an ending. I can't believe it. Uh, I don't even want to move, actually. Dude, wad post to the Gutex face. That's my favorite face ever. type that face, you have to type stick thrower, no spaces. For anyone who was curious. Heh <laughs> heh uh. uh, guess we'll res from right here.
I never thought the day would come when we'd see this wizard's critical animation. But it's almost here. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Chrono. Well, I mean, that whole. I don't know how much HP he has because that holy did so much. Yeah, exactly. Duke knows what's up. I, I thought Stick Thor was kind of like, you know, a, a mean, uh. code. But I'm not gonna argue with Twitch staff. You know what I think? What I'm kind of worried is going to happen. You know, in Final Fantasy VI, the Tower of the Magi, when you get all the way up to the top of the tower and you fight that dude, and it's really hard. And he's like this super advanced wizard and shit, and you finally kill him. You finally do it. He's dead, and then he casts fucking Ultima and kills everyone, and you lose because um, it's a draw. That's what I'm worried is going to happen right here. But you don't, don't don't worry about the faces, please. I'm out of fucking magic. Uh, I'm gonna spend this turn healing up, I guess. Two fifty damage since critical? Okay. Dude, learn the twitch faces, puts you down a dark road that you might not be able to come back from. I don't like how clumped up I am here, but whatever. How much jump does this guy have? Can he like really just jump over this cliff? I guess I have no idea. What's he probably gonna do here? He's probably gonna Living Fire, Ramza, and this Geomancer Soul. High Ether Ridley. And even if he dies, at least he'll have MP still. Uh Crone doesn't know Ether? Or high Ether? I guess not. Note to self, teach him high ether. Yeah, some of those um, are inside jokes. I don't know why it lists that, that like pog champ shit on the Twitch TV faces when the actual code is stick thrower. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Gutex is my hero. He plays Rose and Urian. I play Rose and Urian. He knows what's up. I think that's out of AoEs. I think we're uh, just about on the final stretch here. Yeah, I like Third Strike in Street Fighter 4. I know I'm kind of in the minority in liking Street Fighter 4, because, I don't know, I guess a lot of hardcore fighting game fans don't actually like Street Fighter 4, because it's like too casual, friendly, too many safe moves. I've heard a lot of complaints about it. And Third Strike is more hardcore. 
But I don't know, I still like Street Fighter 4 more. I go back and forth though on which I like more, Street Fighter 4 or Street Fighter 2. Oh shit! We actually killed him! Oh, hallelujah! It's over. Thank god. And it only took, um... Eight? Nine hours? Something like that. So what do we get from this bullshit? Something cool? Well, not a lot of money. Uh, it's like a giant fuck you, dude. It's like, uh... It's the equivalent of RKO showing up to my house, ringing my doorbell, and then I open the door, and then he just kicks me in the balls and runs away. That's what that battle was. So, um, we gained about two levels during that. I guess there's really no reason to keep it. Wob, just tell me now, is there any reason I shouldn't reset right now because I can't use that power source and I gained a lot of levels I didn't have to. So should I just reset and pretend none of this ever happened? Yeah, reset. That was um, the solo wizard battle done in two hours. I don't know how long it took. By the Claude, Claude, Claude925, the internet hero. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're done with the stream, though. Next time, we're going to hit up Ryovane's and try and beat outside Ryovane's castle. It looks pretty tough. And assuming we do that, we're going to see what Wygraph has in store for us. Goddamn. Goddamn. But that'll be next time. Um, yeah. Hope you guys had fun, and thanks for checking out the stream. Is there a fail Ryovane's run in the archives? No. I didn't even attempt Ryovane's. I, like, checked it out, and then, um, I, like, reset immediately. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Sunday at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hope to see you then. But I'm out. See you guys next time. Also, that wizard battle. What the fuck, dude?